One of my most commonly asked questions is can you reuse resin shavings? Well in this video we're going to find out. Before I jump into this week's video I just want to wish that everyone is safe and well. Please look after yourself and your loved ones. So all the shavings that you saw in that opening clip, they all come from the resin eye that I turned last week. And a lot of you guys asked in the comments whether I could reuse them. So my plan is going to be to take some alcohol ink, these are the ones from Solar Color Dust, and I'm going to try and dye these shavings. I've also got another idea to make a few more blanks, but this time I'll add some solid colour, and then I'll turn them on the lathe, and we'll see if our shavings are coloured or clear. I've picked out three colours, blue, black and red. Now I've gone for darker colours, because what I'll do once these shavings are dyed, I'll cast them into a clear blank, and we can see what they look like. I've now got my three colours, red, black and blue, now I'm going to set these aside and let them dry overnight. The next thing I need to do is make my three coloured blanks. The first pigment I'm going to add is a chameleon pigment. This is red, purple, blue, orange. And the second one is a magic pearl, and this is peacock shimmer. It's a really nice teal color. And for the last one, I've decided on fluorescent orange. Now all we have to do is leave these to cure. So now they're all set, I'm just gonna glue onto a waste block and see if we can get some colored shavings off them. They've definitely got a green look to it. Check them out beside clear ones. Here are the shavings from our three coloured blanks and as a comparison, this is what a clear blank looks like. Before we go casting these into one big blank, there's one more thing I want to do and that's take all these dyed shavings and I want to rinse them off in water and take off any excess dye. Well that's a good sign because the water stayed crystal clear. That means that when I go to cast these shavings, they won't bleed into the rest of the resin. Now that we've got our colours all sorted, it's time to make ourselves a blank. I've just got one of these silicon baking moulds here. And also with these last three that I've washed off in water, I made sure they're completely dry because we don't want any moisture contaminating the resin. My original plan was to put these shavings in side by side, that way we could see what effect they had. But now that I think about it, I kind of want to make this into a project. I'm thinking of turning it into a bottle. So because of that, I'm actually going to mix it up a little bit. You can already see that the shavings that weren't dyed, they're already becoming translucent. While that's in the pot curing, I'm going to make another blank, but this time I'm just going to use clear shavings. It's going to be so interesting to see whether you can notice them inside. It kind of just looks like wet cotton wool. Time to take a look, see what we got. 
Pretty excited for this one. Oh wow, that's pretty neat. So I don't ruin the surprise, I think the best thing for me to do is put this on the lathe, we'll turn a nice little bottle, that way you can see a finished product. And as for our mould with the clear shavings in it, I'm going to leave that till last because I'm really curious about this one. A while ago, the nice guys over at Stainless Bottle Stoppers sent me over this bottle opener kit. So I thought, how good would it be? I'll turn my mini bottle into a bottle opener. Are you ready for the close up? Look at this little thing. Check out how well the dyed shavings stand out. You can still see our coloured shavings, but they're a bit harder. They've gone real translucent. But watch what happens when I turn on the black light. See them glow? That looks awesome! For those interested, this is what the blank looked like straight out of the mould. Now that I've shown you the mini bottle, there's only one thing left to do, and that's pop out our clear blank. Okay, you ready to see this? Well, it's not as clear as I thought it was going to be. You can still kind of make out all the little shavings inside. Definitely didn't become a crystal clear blank. So to answer the question, can you reuse resin shavings? The answer is yes and no. Yes, if you want to use it in a decorative way, but no, if you want to use it as fill. Well, that's all for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay safe and look after yourself.